All right, what's going on? Lawson here. It is early in the morning, about 6.42. Got a top water rigged up. Got my 4,000 size Shimano Stratic, a six foot six Crowder rod. And right now we're targeting Big Snook and Big Jack early in the morning on top. It's been an extremely slow morning for me, so I've kind of just reset and I spent about 30 minutes catching some live mullet, <laughs> a lot longer than I wanted to, but it took me a while to find the right size bait. You know, I was catching a lot of mullet, but I just needed the right size, you know, about six inches. And the fish aren't hitting on the artificials, you know, I've had a few follows and I've had some get right behind it, probably four times fall it right up to the boat, but would never hit it. So. Aside, it's time to catch some live bait and see if I can't hook up with something on some live mullet. Alright, I got my live mullet out of my well. That's about the size of bait we're looking for. Now I'll show you there's two different ways I rig these things. There's a few ways. If I'm going to be throwing it a lot and retrieving it a lot, it's going to be hooked through the nose. And so that's what I'm going to do today. But if I'm just going to be sitting there not moving the boat, and I'm going to let my mullet swim around, I hook them through the tail, and through the tail, that brings them up to the top. Now if you want them to swim down, you hook them through the back up here. And so on mullet, I'm gonna hook this one through the head just because that's how I'm gonna fish them today. They have a little tough piece of like cartilage right in front of their nose right here that you put the circle hook into and then you just rotate the circle hook and it flows through perfectly just like that, real easy like. All right, so we're gonna see, now he's rigged up, see if we can't hook up with something. Okay, I'm gonna reset this mullet off the wall. Typically when they get off the seawall, their bite, Fish are going to have trouble finding them. Oh, look at that. Already getting wailed on right there. Come on. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Come on. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Has he got it? No, he hasn't got it yet. He's going to pin it right against that seawall for me. Come on. Yeah, he got it. No. Reel down, reel down, reel down, reel down, reel down. Duh. Come on, slurped it off right there. Pull out to another seawall here. Hopefully, a nice snooker. Jack's holding up on here. Got our mullet head hooked because he's just not cooperating, tail hooked. Oh, it's already getting swirled on. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. Gosh, <laughs> dude. I didn't even... I saw a swirl next to it. It's a nice snook. It's not a huge one, but it's a good one. Loose my drag a little bit. Very funny. I didn't even know he was on. I got my drag free camera. I uh, I threw my mole up right against the wall. I just swung my mullet there, but still got him hooked. Oh gosh, dude! Another snook came up and hit my mullet right there. There's two of them, and the other one just grabbed my mullet. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Well, that's interesting. This big snook just threw up a bunch of glass minnows. Tell me he's been eating little glassies, you know? He's not hooked very well, to be honest. Oh. 
hook just fell out of his mouth. So. This one's on me pulling him in. There we go. Nice snuck. Right there. I'm gonna reposition how I'm holding them. Beautiful. Nice yellow coloration, fat little body on them. That's an awesome snook. Right there. The hook barely was in them. Literally, when I pulled it up, it came out. When I grabbed them in the lip, the hook fell out. And another snook came up and ate the mullet that he was chasing. That's awesome right here. With these big snook, you gotta watch out for those gill plates. Oh, gosh. That comes up. Gosh. And this, I'll just, ooh. This back spine right here is sharp. And it literally just stabbed a hole through my cushion on my seat. I'm gonna snap a few pictures of this guy and we'll let him go. Alright, we're gonna let this guy go right up front here. I might just have to jump in and grab them. Got a pair of gloves? Nope. I'm alright. I might be able to grab a stealth plane. I'm gonna pull my boat up. What's that? This thing is a shot. I got the camera rolling. 
post videos and I got this whole thing on film. Good this thing is a giant. Did you see him? Or did you see him? I, I saw him swim and I picked the live mullet in front of him and he hammered it. Alright, I'm gonna try to unhook this sucker and I'm gonna release him. Oh, I need so. to spend about 15 minutes reviving that fish but you can see I'm completely totally drenched because I sent him off and he wasn't going so I leaped back in the water and, and grabbed him and picked him up and I sat there with, by the boat with him for about 10 minutes until he really started getting going and huge shout out to that guy Wally this random paddleboarder saw me fighting the fish came over and helped me land it helped me do some filming super cool guy hope we'll get on the water with him but that thing was a friggin monster and I just happened to see those Jack cruising by. You know, I saw two big 15 pounders going underneath my boat, and then I saw that one chasing a fish down the wall, and I pitched my mullet up right next to it, and he turned and just hammered it. I got so lucky that that fish he went out instead of in, and I was able to just battle him around and tie him and then finally get him next to the boat, and that thing was so huge, I literally had to leap in the water and pull him out because I couldn't physically lift him over the side of the boat, nor did I want to. But that was awesome, ending the day there with some awesome fish, you know, a nice snook, nice blue fish, and just a monster Jack Craval. I hope you guys liked the video.